Hi everyone, I am Julie Schiffman with julieschiffman.com and today we are talking about self-doubt. You ever doubt yourself? Ever? Or maybe I should ask, how many times have you doubted yourself in the last 10 minutes? It can be normal to doubt yourself, of course, at times, but when you don't do things that you want to do because you're doubting yourself, you are really being held hostage from living your life and living your true passion. And why? Because you don't believe in yourself? Because you're not pretty enough, you're not smart enough, you're not good enough? Whatever it is, those justifications that you have created in your own mind are just excuses that are keeping you from shining your truest and brightest light. Self-doubt is the single most powerful confidence crusher. But we're not born doubting ourselves. Experiences along the way make us can make us question our self-worth at times. And if you're human, you may find that you compare yourself to others and what other people are doing. And especially if you're on social media, you know, we can compare ourselves to people all the time. And this leads us to believe that other people are actually better than us, or they have it better, or they're doing it better, they look better, they sound better, whatever it is, you know, the list goes on and on. But at the end of the day, you are telling yourself that you fall short in some way, shape or form, or that you don't have what it takes. And how does this benefit you? Because it really doesn't. It's time that you start believing in yourself and cheering yourself on, whether others are supporting you in this or not. And if not, then you might need to find yourself some new supporters. But of course, you need to be your biggest supporter. It needs to start with you. And that's what we're addressing today with tapping. Since it starts with you, let's help you to change your perception and in turn change your life. The world needs you and needs your gifts. So let's start tapping and crush self-doubt. As always, please remember to take responsibility for your own emotional and physical well-being. And if you need assistance, of course, reach out to a tapping practitioner who, um, who can help you out. So take a big deep breath in here and let it go. Just connect with yourself. This is your time. Even though I doubt myself constantly, I'm open to loving and accepting myself anyway. Even though I crush my own confidence daily, because I doubt what I'm capable of. I accept myself and how I feel about this. Even though I have this self-doubt, this voice in my head that says, I can't do it, or I'm not good enough, or who am I to do this? Whatever it is that you hear in your own mind, I accept myself anyway. And I'm open to letting go and seeing things differently. It's time. All this doubt I doubt myself constantly. I doubt what I'm capable of. I doubt I can do it. I have this voice in my head that says I'm not good enough. I'm not pretty or handsome enough. I'm not thin enough. I'm not smart enough. I don't have what it takes. Not capable of doing it as well as others do it. This voice in my head, it speaks so loudly at times.
and it can be really hard to shut it off. It can be hard not to believe what I tell myself. And the question is, where does this voice come from? Did someone teach me to doubt myself? Maybe I learned that my feelings are wrong. That my ideas are silly. This self-doubt in my head. I don't believe in myself. I'm just not sure I'm capable. And maybe people have doubted me in the past. So I don't believe I can do it. If they didn't believe in me, why should I? I'm doubting what's possible. But anything is possible. And maybe this self-doubt is just a smoke screen. Maybe it protects me from being shut down. Criticized or rejected. All this doubt. Just keeps me safe. But it also holds me hostage from moving forward. I'm letting go of all the fears. I'm releasing all the shame. I release and let go of past rejections. which have all caused to doubt myself. Caused me to doubt myself. All these thoughts I tell myself. The harsh thoughts. The judgy thoughts. All the critical thoughts. That's the past part of me speaking up. Warning me. Protecting me. So I don't get hurt again. I'm seeing things through an old filter. It's like an old pair of sunglasses from childhood. And I'm still wearing the same glasses. And they're shaded and they're dark. And they're scratched up. And they're blurry. They're certainly not clear. And I'm looking through the same old lenses. Maybe it's time to change these lenses. It's time for a new prescription. Because these old lenses, this, these glasses, 
this filter. Just old beliefs that are no longer true. And they're no longer serving me. I'm getting rid of these glasses that I look through every day with old, dirty, blurry lenses. It is time to clean my glasses so that I can see clearly. Change my perception. These old lenses taught me how to doubt myself. But new lenses show me a new light. The old lenses show me disappointments and rejections. And new lenses show me bright beginnings. I'm changing the story, changing my life. Anything is possible when I believe in me. I am confident and I am ready to shine my brightest light. I have so many gifts and it's time to share them with the world. I'm seeing things differently. I have a new pair of glasses with new lenses to see my true self with fresh eyes. I got this. I'm open to believing in myself. It's time. I am ready to shine. I am on my way. Tap your wrists together, say peace. Good work, take a big deep breath in. and out and just feel that good positive energy moving throughout your body. Pay attention to all the images, the thoughts, the memories that came up for you throughout this tapping sequence. And be sure to continue tapping on any emotions or thoughts or anything came, that came up for you as we were tapping on it. It is time to change your lenses. It is time for you to see things differently and with fresh eyes. So here is to you and your bright beginnings. Keep tapping. <laughs>